Trudy, this is a major investigation into allegations Chinese government agents have infiltrated a political office. What do we know? Yeah, Tom, the federal police has conducted these raids this morning in Sydney on behalf of ASIO. It's on the home of New South Wales Labor MP Shakat Muscle Main. There's also an ongoing AB, AFP raid attempted at his office in Macquarie Street in the state parliament. But it's my understanding that there has been some difficulties getting in given the sensitivities and parliamentary privilege that does apply to that office. It's still ongoing, these raids. It's uh, my understanding. There is multiple search warrants involved in this investigation. The allegations here are regarding claims that there is possible Chinese influence and interference could be going on in his office. This is certainly stressing at the moment. There is no charges that have been laid yet. This is search warrants trying to gather evidence. But in such a very sensitive area, there is a very high threshold for these sort of search warrants to be issued and they have to be approved first by the Attorney General Christian Porter. We've received a statement from ASIO and the AFP confirming what's going on this morning. They tell Sky News, quote, that ASIO can confirm that a search warrant activity is occurring in Sydney this morning as part of an ongoing investigation. They go on to say this activity does not relate to any specific threat to the community and whilst this activity occurs, it would be not appropriate to comment further. Mr Musselman hardly a household name on the federal level, but he has got himself into hot water in recent years over a series of controversial comments relating to China. There has also been claims he's taken nine privately funded trips to China since he was elected to parliament and that his disclosures have shown that some of those costs have been paid for by Chinese government agents or Chinese government agencies. So there's been concerning allegations in the past regarding him as well. In February, there was also these controversial comments he made about um, praising China when it comes to its handling of the coronavirus that were leaked to the media. Can I just say that the Chinese government should be commended for the immediate action that it took. I actually heard Xi Jinping speak about this and raise the, uh, the spectre that it is very serious and it had to be taken note of. Because it was contained so much in, in China, um, that meant that the rest of the world had not been affected. The Australian government has been increasingly concerned about the risk of foreign interference in recent years. We know that the ASIO boss, Mike Burgess, earlier this year spoke about the th unprecedented threat that foreign interference currently faces in Australia. He said there is more spies here now than at the height of the Cold War. So a very significant investigation underway at the moment. Tom, if there is sufficient evidence to uh, mount a prosecution here, it could be a world first when it comes to going after this level of foreign interference. Real shades there in that uh, news conference of, uh, of course, Sam Dastiari also uh, towing the, the China line, if you like, Trudy McIntosh. Fascinating developments. Let's go live to Danica de Giorgio, New South Wales State Parliament. Danica, the earlier news we had was there, an, there was an attempted raid on the office of Shaquette Russell Main. What's the latest on that situation? Well, Tom, as Trudy said at this stage, Sky News has been unable to confirm whether or not AFP and ASIO officers have been able to enter the building, given the number of sensitivities surrounding the matter itself. But what I can tell you is that the Labor MP entered New South Wales Parliament a few hours ago. He does remain inside the building. Now, his office is currently located on the 11th floor. It is currently a construction zone. However, police have been stationed out the front there for a number of hours. We are currently at the back of New South Wales Parliament. At this stage, we haven't seen him, we haven't seen any activity surrounding uh, police officers coming in and out of the building, but do bear in mind there are a number of entrances uh, and exits to New South Wales Parliament itself. We do know that this investigation began around 6.30 this morning when plainclothed officers raided Mr Mosselmain's Rockdale home in Sydney South around 6.30am, gathering a number of different items of evidence surrounding the investigation itself. Now, the New South Wales uh, State Labor leader, Jodie McKay, spoke a short time ago. She has described the allegations as disturbing and confirmed that the, mem the party has suspended Mr Mosselmain's membership. It's the right thing to do. Uh, he will no longer sit in the caucus. Uh, he will no longer uh, be uh, a Labor Party member. This came as a surprise to me. It's, it's dreadfully concerning. It's, it's terrible. Um, you know, there is a, an expectation on MPs that they're, uh, you know, whatever they do, it is in the best interests of the people of this state. 
She's also confirmed that Labor is uh, is currently cooperating with the authorities and Jody McKay does expect to get a full briefing from the AFP and ASIO officers later today. Now, as Trudy said, Mr Mosselmaine is not a household name as such in New South Wales. Uh, repeating that, though, he is inside the building at the moment, Tom, so whether or not he does come out this afternoon and releases a brief statement uh, in regards to the allegations remains to be seen.